all right guys so today's video we'll be taking a look at the brand new orimo reef 2. 18 months ago orimo released the orimo reef 1 or the orimo first gen and ever since it has become one of my favorite airbots when it comes to an orimo airbus that gives you maximum comfort in the years because of the small size i've recommended it to a whole lot of people and they all love it and when i saw the orimo reef 2 I was curious to know if this Orimo Reef 2 has something better to offer. So if you want to know about that, watch this video to the very end. And without wasting much of your time, let's get down to business. So the first thing I'll be pointing out here is the price. The price of this Orimo Reef 2 goes for 13,500 Naira, which is equivalent to 18 US dollars as of the time of making this video. You can also use the discount code shown right on your screen right now. To get it cheaper to the price of 12,835 Naira. Thank you for using the discount code and let's continue the rest of the video. It seems that Orimo is now setting a trend by making their airbots in just three colors and this is not an exception. We have the Nobella Blue, the Phantom Black and the Ice Lake Blue. Here with me I have the Nobella Blue and I think this is the most beautiful of them all. Moving over to the unboxing, I've already done the unboxing on this Orimo Reef 2, so if you missed that, please check up there in the cards above or down in the description box below. I'm going to leave a link to the unboxing video in case you missed that. At the connection department, there are a lot of things I'm going to share with you there. This guy runs on Bluetooth version 5.3, which is the latest Bluetooth version in the market right now, so you are getting a faster and stable connection using this airport. During my testing, I was able to get 11 meters of strong connection in an open space but if you are in a building where there are walls between you and the connected device then you'll be having something less than that and also they comes with sbc and aac as their connection coders which means that if you are using an iphone or you are using an ios device this is going to work seamlessly for you when it comes to the design, the Orimo Reef 2 charging case comes in this very nice looking translucent design. Though it is still the open kind of charging case, but this time around you can see through the open lid. The Airbus themselves have stem style design that comes out of the hair with the Orimo branding by the side. It is sleek with half in ear design. The only problem I have with this guy is that I'm not a fan of half in ear design Airbus because I prefer Airbus with air tips. The reason is because if you are using something like this, a someone that is always sitting on the decks or you are always standing. But if you are not these two, you are always on the go, moving here and there, bumping into people, this guy is likely to fall off. Now, when it comes to maximum comfort, we all know that the Orimo Reef 1 offers that. But can we say the same when it comes to the Orimo Reef 2? During my testing, I didn't have any issue with it. It was comfortable in my ears and I don't have any discomfort at all. To be sincere with you, not everybody will have similar experience. Talking about how to control your Orimo Reef 2, these airbots come with touch control sensors on them. They are located by the top side of the airbots, which you can see, it is actually not a button, but just a small oblong shape for easy reach. Tap either left or the right airbot once to pause and play your music, tap either airbots twice to skip forward, and you can tap either of the airbus three times to skip backward and you can also long press it for too big to activate your voice call assistant aside from that you can long press the airbus for four beep and it's going to change it to game mode and this takes us to the gaming mode department playing casual games like beach buggy temple run 2 killer b or super mario you are going to experience a little bit of latency and also if you are playing first shooting games like call of duty PUBG, Free Fire and the rest, you are still going to experience latency. Once you turn on the game mode, you are going to experience a very low latency on this airbus. I won't say this is a gaming airbus, but if you want to use it for gaming, just switch on the game mode and you'll be good to go. Please note that when you are using your airbus to play games, it's going to drain part of your battery capacity. When it comes to battery capacity, the Orimo Rift 2 comes with 35 mA for each of its airbots and 460 mA for the charging case. Orimo claims that this Orimo Reef can last you for 6 hours. During my testing, I tested it out and I noticed that this guy can last you for 6 hours at 70% volume. That is on a single charge. And if you want to use the charging case to juice it up, it's going to give you 2 times and half. 
it is worth mentioning that this Orimo Rift 2 comes with two minutes auto shut off, which means that if you bring out this AirPods from the charging case or you just open the AirPods and you do not connect it to any device around you, just in two minutes, it's going to go off. And this is going to help it to save the battery life. So you have to connect it within two minutes. Now, I know you want to know if it is good with voice calls or WhatsApp or Zoom calls. Guys, I've tested it out. The Oramo Rift 2 is able to handle this like bread and butter. And reason is because it comes with four mic beam forming technology, just like the Oramo 3 Plus 3. So you can use it to make WhatsApp calls, you can use it to make Zoom meetings and every other stuff like that. Whatever you throw at it, when it comes to voice call, it's going to undo it. But don't take my word for it. Here is the core quality test. All right, guys. So this is the core quality test of the Orimo Rift 2. As you can see, this is what you'll be getting if you are using it to make a call right now. It's pretty sunny here and it is not very windy. So this is how it acts when you are using it to make a call. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Testing, testing. One, two. Now, let's talk about the meat of this review, which is the sound quality. I know a lot of you guys really want to know how this guy sounds in the hair, and fine, it is one of the most important factors when you consider buying an hair bot. The sound emitted from this Orimo Retrue is made possible by the 12mm high sensitive drivers in them. Straight out of the box, these guys are pretty loud and bright. I have to say this. This Oramo Rift 2 does a very great job giving out much bass. But reason why you are not getting much of the bass or why you won't get much of the bass is because of the half-in-ear design. So some of these bass are lost to the environment because of the design. Now, if you want to get more of the bass or most of the bass, if you have the Oramo 3 Plus 3 Extra Air Tip, you can use it on this Oramo Rift 2 and you are going to get most of the bass out of it. I also have to tell you that you can also sync it up with your Orimo sound hub. When you sync it up, then you can use the equalizer setting to boost up the bass to your own taste. For more controls, you can also use the Orimo sound app to activate the volume controls on the Orimo Rift 2. If you want to use the volume controls, you use the volume controls. And if you want to use the post and play settings, you use the post and play settings. I recommend this Orimo Rift 2 to you if you are someone looking out for an upgrade from the Orimo Rift 1 and you also like the half in ear design you are going to enjoy this if you are someone that wants to also check out the latest airbots from orimo this is going to serve you well that being said please use the discount code shown right on your screen and this is going to give you a five percent discount and bring down the price to twelve thousand eight hundred and thirty five naira i remember about the motor and i'll see you in the next video shown right here bye for now peace